Newton's Three Laws of Motion Newton's laws can help us to understand how cars, bikes, and many other things move, even people. Let's talk a little bit about when we see them in everyday life. In simple terms, the first law, or law of inertia, occurs when an object remains still, unless something or someone moves it. The second law is used to explain why it takes less force to make a bike move forward than something that's heavier, like a car. And the third law of action and reaction happens when you throw a ball against a wall and it bounces. Every action, no matter how small or simple, has a reaction. Before exploring each of these laws, let's go over the meaning of motion, force, and acceleration. These three concepts are the key to understanding Newton's laws. We all know what motion is, when something goes from one place to another or changes its position. For example, as this duck walks, it's moving to a new place. But it also moves when it simply lowers its head to drink some water, changing its position. Force is when any action, such as dropping, pushing, or dragging, causes an object to move or change its shape. Joan wants to pick up the box that's on the floor and put it on the table, so she's using force. When she grabs the box and lifts it up, she's making the box change places. But if Joan's tired and leans on the box, she's also exerting force. Her body causes it to change shape. Lastly, there's acceleration. Acceleration describes when something like a car speeds up or when it slows down. Keep these three key words in mind as you learn about each law. Newton's laws of motion are happening all around us. They can help us to make sense of the world and to see things in a unique way. Check out our other videos to learn more about each of the three laws. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.